Hello, I'd like to show you how to, in this video, how to create, uh, how to use Simulation Express on an assembly. Typically, Simulation Express won't allow you to use it on an assembly, it's just the way it's designed. Uh, you know, that's how it works once you upgrade to the real simulation, but it does give you a, uh, the opportunity to actually uh, do run the simulation on a part. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an assembly that we have here and actually create a part out of it. And then we're going to run Simulation Express and I'll show you the different steps here. But the first thing we want to do is we want to take this assembly and uh, we're going to make a part out of it. So the way the assembly is right now, uh, we have uh, three different parts of the assembly. We have a plate 3, which has got the most detail to it. Plate 2, which has got lesser detail. And then uh, plate, well, actually that was plate 1. And then plate 2 has got even less detail. And these are all done by a thin extrude. So just let me show you how these were put together. This is done by a thin extrude. If we uh, take a rollback bar and roll that back to extrude uh, thin 1 and uh, go to the sketch that defines that. This is uh, similar to uh, a, um, a model that our clients put together, a much more simplified model of that. But uh, what we have here is a 90 degree angle on, these, on this simple sketch. Uh, a little bit less than a 90 degree angle so that when we apply pressure to this face over here it will actually straighten out and get more perpendicular. So we have a radius in the corner, uh, 20 degree offset there, 60, uh, or not a 20 degree but 20 inch uh, length on that, uh, on that leg and a 60 inch length, uh, length on this leg. And it was just done with a, th a simple thin extrude. Other features associated with that are a hole in the back, we're going to be using that for mounting, and I created a sheet metal fixture to create that flange on the bottom. Then I combined it. Once I got that flange in place, I combined it so that's uh, one, one part, and uh, one body in that part. So we didn't make any changes to that, but I'm going to go ahead and update that anyway. So here's our assembly. The desire with this assem uh, assembly right now is to go ahead and combine this uh, save it as a part, combine the different uh, solid bodies on that part back into a, in, back into the part, and then we're going to run simulation on it. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to File, Save As, and what we want to do is we want to save it as a part. So let's try that again. File. Boy, it is real quick. So we're going to go to File, Save As, uh, keeping the left mouse button depressed. And then instead of saving it as assembly as it is right now, we're going to save it as a part. So we're going to click part, and instead of calling it plates, we're going to call it plates 1. So plates is the name of the assembly, we're going to call that plates 1, we're going to go to save it. Save, and yes, I have it in there in the, in the background, and we're going to go ahead and save over that. Now we want to open that up. It's been kind of difficult this morning, but we're going to open up plates 1 part. And what we don't want to do is do uh, feature recognition on this, at least right now. You may choose to do this. It's a very uh, sophisticated feature. Uh, it's a very sophisticated tool that SolidWorks offers. Feature recognition allows our assembly, our parts that are associated with the old assembly here, and uh, actually recognize these features. So it'll actually combine all these uh, different uh, these bodies that you see over here. And these dummy, uh, what they call a uh, dumb solid over here, and these are solids that uh, are on the the part, but don't have any features associated with them. What it's going to do is going to create these features for us. We're not going to run that right now, especially if they have a complicated part. It could take some time. So we're going to say no, and we're going to take a look at our part a little bit closer here. Like I said, these are dummy solids over here. They're solids that are uh, associated with our part that um, don't have any features or sketches associated with it. And if we go up here to our solid bodies folder, these are the three parts associated with, or three bodies associated with the different parts that were originally part of our assembly. What we want to do is we want to combine these. I already have on our feature manager, uh, on our uh, command manager up here, under our features tab, uh, the command, uh, the combine uh, feature up here. You may not have this, and the way to get that is you want to right click up in your command manager, and it's just off the screen down here. But it's the second one up from the bottom. It's called Customize. If you click on that Customize button, now I'll pull this in so we can see this a little bit better. What you want to do is you want to go to the Commands tab, go down to the Features, and you want to choose that. And what you're looking for is this one here. And what you do is you drag that off to your Command Manager under the Features tab. So right now what, what I do is I created two of these. I don't really need them. And if you want to move these around, this is an opportunity to do it. 
Uh, you can uh, move these all over the place and you can delete these too simply by taking the one that you don't want and just dragging it off somewhere where it doesn't belong. So once you do that, once you have that command, uh, that combined uh, feature up here, you want to click on that and what it's looking for are bodies to combine. So we can um, we can choose this in two different areas. We can go to the modeling area and choose our different bodies. Or we go up to our solid bodies folder and choose them this way. So I'll do a combination of, uh, of the two. You can choose plate three up here. Choose plate two in uh, the modeling area. Maybe plate one over here in the solid bodies folder. What we cannot do is go to the dummy solids over here and choose these. And won't let us do that. So once you have those chosen, Go to the green check mark, and what you have here now is a part where all of our different uh, solid bodies that we had in there, the three different ones that we had before, are now combined into one part. So you notice our solid bodies folder is missing here. We have one uh, solid body, and it's something we could use Simulation Express on. So we're going to run into that and uh, cover that in our next video.